So today we're gonna to talk about concrete hardness and a quick, easy way to test it. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how that relates to diamond tooling from National Flooring Equipment. So if you guys aren't aware, there's several different, um, very professional ways to test concrete hardness. One is a Mohs Hardness Concrete Tester. Um, and there's a few others out there. I find those to typically be complicated, time consuming, and a lot of guys don't have the patience to test five or six spots in the building. So many, many years ago, I actually learned from um, a guy that was testing concrete hardness, not to be um, super specific, or he was looking for a general range. Soft concrete, is it medium concrete, or was it hard concrete? And he didn't use any of those really um, high-end tools that were real time consuming and real technical. He actually used one of two things, depending on what he had in mind. And I followed him around for a couple of weeks learning from him about concrete. One's a flathead screwdriver, and the other is just a simple pocket knife. Um, I wouldn't use your real expensive pocket knife, but you know, most guys that are carrying these in their pockets on a construction job site, they're actually using them. And I'm gonna show you guys just real quick um, an example of how I can use either one of these tools to come up with the answer to, is my concrete hard, medium, or soft? So what we've got here is we have the original concrete um, for this building, and then we've also poured a test slab for running equipment and for training purposes. And I happen to know that the original concrete in this building is super duper hard. I think it's about 6,500 PSI. And this concrete that we paid to have put on top of it is very, actually very soft. I'm guessing that's somewhere around 2,000 PSI or maybe 2,500. I, I doubt it's 2,500. And how I can tell that is I prefer the knife method because I always have a pocket knife um, on a job site because it's so handy. And I think most of you guys do too. If not, I'll show you the same same way to test with a screwdriver. So what you do is you take your knife and this is my hard concrete slab right here. I'm gonna just run this back and forth in a straight line and try to dig into the concrete. Well, I could tell you guys, if you can't really, really see on the video, what's happening is my knife is wearing off onto the concrete. All it's doing is leaving silver marks on the concrete. I can't dig into this at all because it is so hard. So because I can't dig into it, at all, I know that this is a uh, very, very hard concrete. Well, just the opposite, sitting on top of that hard concrete slab is a soft concrete slab. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna run back and forth just like I was. And if you guys can see or hear, now I am actually digging in a, a trench very easily and I'm getting a lot of dust and it's digging in with, with very little effort. That tells me that this is very soft. So in the middle of that is if I was scraping a line back and forth and it was digging in just a little, it's making just a little bit of dust, then I could um, determine that it was just a medium concrete. So if you didn't have a pocket knife and you can find a screwdriver, the screwdriver does the same thing. If I go back and forth, it's actually wearing away my screwdriver, but it's not digging into this concrete, it is so hard. Same thing if I go back up to here, you guys can see that it's just destroying the slab. I'm just digging right through it. How does that relate to the diamond tooling for your passive planetary, your planetary, or even your kind of rotational um, grinders that you guys are using? So these are small pieces of tooling that are used for the National Flooring Equipment's Helix or the 8274-4. So that's the passive planetary or the planetary um, grinders. This segment is super soft. The single bar 25, super soft. And I have to take my glasses off to read the part number. The part number is 950425. So this super soft diamond, that means that this silver glue that holds the little pieces of diamonds are super soft. That means it wears away quickly, exposing the, the little pieces of diamond, which is really the only thing doing the cutting. So if you backed up in the video and realized that I experienced or was able to show that the original concrete slab in this building is really hard, 
It's really hard, you guys. I've never seen concrete this hard. Luckily for us, uh, it's fantastic. In order to open that up and to have progress with the prep for coating, I would choose a super soft if I had it, or at least a soft bond diamond to be able to cut into that. Um, this is a 30 grit, so it's a 90, part number is 9508, 30SB, which stands for soft bond. The difference is I've got two trapezoidals instead of one, so it's still a soft diamond, but it's gonna be a little less aggressive because I have more surface area, but it, and it's not a super soft, it's just a soft bond. So if you have really hard concrete, you wanna definitely choose a soft bond or a super soft bond segment diamond. So for your GP700 or your GP series counter rotational diamonds, we're gonna talk about um, tooling choices for soft, medium, and hard. Um, I've got a couple examples. This is actually a hard bond diamond. So when would I choose to use a hard bond diamond? Super popular along the Gulf of Florida and the Gulf that comes all the way around to Houston. The concrete there has a lot of shell and it's extremely soft. So those contractors, when they do their test and they see that it's soft like this concrete I'm standing on, they're gonna choose to use a hard bond diamond on the soft concrete. Um, and here's another example of a soft bond diamond, which I am gonna use on some really hard concrete like the concrete that is the original concrete from this building. So I'm gonna explain this. Soft concrete, you need a hard bond diamond. For really hard concrete, in order for it to open it up, you need a soft bond diamond. So it's just the opposite. Well, but Dave, I see in your national flooring equipment catalog, you have a lot of medium bond tooling. So great, so if I'm doing the scratch test and I can see that it's not real hard, but it's not real soft, that's when I'm gonna go for a medium bond diamond because it'll cut well, but you'll also get your life expectancy out of the diamonds. That's, that's part of the reason why you really wanna match your diamond tooling with the hardness of the concrete. Um, to get your money's worth out of your diamond tooling so it doesn't wear too quickly and so your labor costs don't go up. So if I use hard bond diamond on this hard concrete, it's it's not gonna cut. And if it does, it's gonna cut very slowly and very inefficiently. So my labor costs are gonna go way, 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 way up. So make sure that you choose the right bond diamond for the concrete you're using. And I'm very famous for talking about having enough tools in your toolbox. If you just have a medium bond diamond, that's gonna work a lot of the times, but when you run into really soft concrete or really hard concrete, you need to have the right tools in your toolbox to tackle that job. So you get through it the most efficiently, get the most square footage per hour, and get the life out of your diamonds.